Hello and welcome to another video my friends and this is very important for the people that want to jailbreak the device I need right now to do downgrade path to ISM.3.2 as soon as possible because Apple may stop signing in IS 10.3.2 as you already know IS 10.3.2 still has been signed by Apple but this can stop sooner than later the reason why I'm telling you this is because some hackers release some code and a lot of developers want to make their tool to, to jailbreak the device so this will only work to IS 10 to IS 10.3.2 so if you are IS 10.3.3 I recommend that you downgrade so before anything else I need you take a moment and watch this video I'm gonna provide this description in the description and this is gonna explain everything the most important part and I'm gonna show you how to downgrade back to IS 10.3.2. All right. The first thing that you're gonna do is to go to the video, one of my video description in this one, and I'm gonna provide everything in the description. Every link, everything is gonna be there. So go and download everything. Then you're gonna you're gonna go to ESPWME, and then you're gonna download the IS 10.3.2 and the IS 10.3.3. Anyways, I'm going to provide this link in the description, but this one, you have to go to this website and look for it. All right. The 10.3.3 is the latest version that Apple on this day has signed by Apple. And this is the latest version that we have. This is the one that you need. So additionally, if you are now at like this device, if you, if you are in iOS 11, like this device, uh, if you are in iOS 11, you need to downgrade back to iOS 10.3.3 first and then downgrade back to iOS 10.3.2. This will delete every information. You're gonna download the iOS 10.3.3, you're gonna download the iOS 10.3.2. That's the first step. You're gonna open iTunes and make sure that you have the latest version of iTunes. If you came from iOS 10.3.3, you just need to downgrade back to iOS 10.3.2. What are you going to do? You're going to put your device in recovery mode. And what are you going to do? You're going to press restore. So we're going to proceed with that. If you have iPhone 7, you're going to touch the power button and the down button. If you have iPhone 6S below, you're going to press the power button and the home button. And what you're going to do, you're going to press those buttons for them. The device would shut up. And you're going to continue to hold those buttons. The, the device would turn on again. And just continue to hold those buttons. Do not release the buttons. Now you can release, and as you can see here, the device will detect that your that, that your device is in recovery mode. What you have to do is you already download everything that you need. If you are in iOS 11, like this de device, I'm gonna proceed with the update back to iOS 10.3.3. But I don't going to update. I'm going to restore. Depending of your situation, if you want to update back there's a risk of break your device so be careful with that all right so i'm gonna proceed with the restore so i'm gonna press shift or auction if you are in mac so press shift and proceed with the restore process i'm gonna proceed with the restore and i'm gonna get back to is 10.3.3 very important is you try to downgrade from is 11 directly to is 10.3.2 you're gonna break your device do not attempt to downgrade back to IS 10.3.2 before downgrading back to IS 10.3.3. All right, very important. So we're gonna proceed with the IS 10.3.3 downgrade and let's go. The process is gonna take a little while, but it's not going to take more than seven minutes. So I'm gonna get back as soon as this finish. All right, we are now in iOS 10.3.3. We're gonna proceed with, with the downgrade to iOS 10.3.2. So what you're gonna do, 
you're gonna go and proceed to set this device as a new device and you're gonna hit continue then you're gonna press skip started and then you're gonna proceed to restore back now you just wait lift the, the device just like that and press restore select shift or select option so I'm gonna proceed proceed with shift in this case I'm gonna proceed to look for the IS 10.3.2 since Apple still signed in this of this moment I'm gonna proceed to restore to IS 10.3.2 anyways I'm gonna leave everything in the description if you want to downgrade path to IS 10.3.3 and IS 10.3.2 without losing information you can do it but there is a big risk or break your device so you have to be careful with that and another thing is that in the description there will be uh, like a toggle when you want to restart your device with without losing information or and with losing information so I'm going to include those scenarios by the way we are downgrading back to IS 10.3.2 when this finish I'm going to return back for the last part will be the final step that you have to put in your device a certificate in order to you prevent updating and that pre that the certificate is going to prevent you to update to IS 10.3.3 because it's going to trick your device that you have an Apple TV and not an iPhone so I'm going to get back as soon as possible once again I'm going to let you read everything in the description there will be covered are all the scenarios remember these are the process so if you are in iOS 11 you're going to restore back to iOS 10.3.3 and then from 10.3.3 you're going to restore to IS 10.3.2 all right do not attempt to restore from IS 11 to IS 10.3.2 because you're going to break your device all right so as you can see here we finally restored the device to IS 10.3.2 in order to jailbreak the device in the future we are in the potential mode of having a jailbreak so I need you guys watch that video that I mentioned before very important so it's gonna go ahead and talk about this and gonna put it right here Download, in order uh, to right hear EMBS, user space research tool for iOS 10 to 10.3.2 so if you click on this link it takes you here to a similar page where the and big shout out to this person posted. the name is Bill Ellis the name of this person so go here and watch this video as soon as possible but anyway I'm gonna pause this right now and I'm gonna get back to the video right here as you can see we are in IS 10.3.2 so what we're gonna do here we're gonna set off of a new iPhone and if you have a backup from IS 10.3.2 in the past you can do so but now we are in the final process what we're gonna do we're gonna proceed to go and activate this device because what we're gonna do right now is very important so since IS 10.3.3 has been released the iPhone will update eventually to IS 10.3.2 so in order to this to work you need to install a certificate do not attempt to remove this certificate we are now in IS 10.3.2 okay as you can see here we are in IS 10.3.2 I'm gonna hit about and as you can see we are in IS 10.3.2 if I try to go to software update of course the device is gonna, is gonna try to update to IS 10.3.3 as you can see is start without my permission to update so I don't want that so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cancel this I'm gonna go to to software and then I'm gonna manage storage and then I'm gonna delete this software as soon as possible and then I'm gonna leave the device just like that. What you're gonna do, you're gonna go to this video and I'm gonna provide everything in the description. So you're gonna proceed with this certificate. It's the one that they say no OTA, no AOTA. So you're gonna proceed with this. It's gonna open you in applight.com. If you are in your YouTube app, what you're gonna do, you're gonna press, make sure to open this in Safari. It's very important that you open this link in Safari. So you're gonna proceed to skip the ad and then when you skip the ad you're gonna proceed to close this tab and then return back and then you're gonna press skip ad and it's gonna ask you to install this you need to put your password so you create one and then I'm gonna proceed to install this and install and I hit install and it's gonna pro 
uh, prompt me to restart the device. So I'm going to restart the device. What is happening, as I mentioned before, a certificate is going to trick the server of Apple that is going to trick those guys to think that this device is Apple TV. So they're not going to update your device. Very important that do not update to 10.3.3 because you're gonna lose the chance to jailbreak in the future, all right? Very important that. So as you can see, the device has been booted again. We are waiting for the screen to appear. So we're gonna go now to settings and then we're gonna proceed to to try to update back to S10.3.3. And as you can see right now, the device now detect that the latest version of iOS will be the iOS 10.3.2, all right? I hope you like this video. A, it's very important that you guys understand do not update in iTunes it's gonna prompt you with this so do not select do not ask me this again and hit cancel so stay in IS 10.3.2 as soon as possible there will be a jailbreak I know I can feel that the jailbreak will be here I'm gonna provide everything in the description please read everything so yeah guys that's for now thank you for everything goodbye